This is the auto blogger. We're gonna use it to generate thousands of articles around the keywords of our choosing and automatically post them to your WordPress website. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to use it, how to set it up, some of the new features that's been added to this web app, and how you could use it to start getting organic traffic to your business website. All right, let's get into it. To get started, head on over to autoblogger.app. You're gonna land on this sign up page and I'm gonna sign up. So my name is Wes GPT. My email is heywestfrank at gmail.com. I entered my password, I'm gonna click sign up. After signing up, it's gonna land you on the settings page. And there are a few things that we need to configure in order to use the Autoblogger app. First, we're gonna need an open AI secret key. Right here, it tells us to go to this website, so I'm gonna click it here. The website is platform.openai.com slash API dash keys. And this is a list of all your API keys. So we need to go to create new secret key. I'm gonna call it auto blogger WordPress, hit create secret key, and then copy that key, go back to the other tab and paste it in here. Now we can test the open AI connection. I'm gonna click start. And in the back end, it's gonna be testing GPT 3.5 turbo, GPT 4 turbo, Dolly 2, and Dolly 3. These are the four major things you need in order to generate articles for your WordPress website. If everything is successful, you're gonna get a check mark in the button right here. So we're all good. But I wanna quickly mention some troubleshooting tips for those who've had problems setting up their OpenAI secret key. Go to settings and then limits. Scroll down here and set your monthly budget to something that's higher than let's say $10. If this monthly budget is too low, you'll be capped at your outputs and the API won't work. You don't need to set it to something ridiculous like $1,000. It's not gonna cost anywhere close to that, but give yourself some breathing room. So 10 to $20, set your monthly budget. Make sure there is no limit on your account. Also make sure you've added an active payment method. To use the API, it's pay as you go. This is different from ChatGPT+. I think ChatGPT Plus is $19.99 right now. Generating thousands of articles using their API is not gonna cost nearly as much as that, maybe 25% the cost, but you do need an active credit card attached to your account. Okay, before I integrate my WordPress website, I actually wanna go to the Stable Diffusion tab, and instead of using Dolly 2 or Dolly 3 images, I want to use the brand new Stable Diffusion 3 model. I wanna use that as my image generator for each article. Again, we have a link here, so I'm gonna click it. It takes us to beta.dreamstudio.ai slash account, and you're gonna to need to purchase some credits. So it says right here, 1,000 credits is equal to about 5,000 images, and it's $10 per 1,000 credits. So if you do the math for 5,000 articles, because we have one image per article, it's gonna cost you $10 for the images. If you did that with Dolly 3, we're talking about eight cents per image. So let's go eight cents times 5,000 articles. It would cost you $400. 400 compared to 10. I guess the choice is yours, but to me it's a no brainer. Okay, click the plus button right here to create an API key. Click confirm. It creates a brand new key. I'm gonna click to copy, gotta confirm again. Then paste it in this input box and hit start. It's gonna create a stable Diffusion 3 image in the background. Then we're gonna get that white check mark on the blue button again. That means it is set up correctly. Okay, now I'm gonna click the WordPress tab and then I can click to add a new WordPress website. First, I need to choose a website name. And for this example, I'm gonna pretend I am a chiropractor and my WordPress website is my home on the net. So I'm writing chiropractic services for the website name. And for the next three inputs, we need to go to my WordPress dashboard. This is my WordPress dashboard. First, we need the website URL. So I'm gonna grab it from up here. I'm gonna copy. I know it says bookgen.xyz. I didn't wanna buy a chiropractic domain just for this video, so stick with me here. We'll go back to that example in a second. But I'm gonna copy this URL, paste it into this input box, Make sure you don't include HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash or any other details of the URL. Now for the username, we're gonna to go to users and I want you to create a new user for me. Make sure it has a username that hasn't been used before. 
I'm just going to use writer. I'll put in any email there and I'm going to go down and I'm going to change the role of this user to editor. Click add new user. Now I can write that username in this input box. I'm writing writer. Now for the application password, click on the user you just created. Scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now you're under application passwords. Call this whatever you want. Let's just say autoblogger. Click add new application password and then copy this text right here and paste it in. Now I can click the start button to test the WordPress connection. But before I do that, two troubleshooting tips. First, go to settings and then permalinks and make sure that any of these are selected except the first one plain. I like to use post name. I think it's the best for SEO. And it basically means whatever the slug is, whatever keyword we'll use for the autoblogger, that's what it will put at the end of the URL. This is also the only way that the API will work. It won't work with the plain setting. Second, if you're still having issues setting up your WordPress website, let's say you click that start WordPress connection test, it fails, go to your plugins, and it's possible that a plugin you have is restricting access to your website. If you have any security plugins, any password plugins, maybe deactivate all of them and try again, or deactivate them one by one to see which one is causing the issue. I have had a client before that one of his plugins was the reason for his non-connection. We disabled the plugin, he didn't need it anymore anyways, and everything worked as expected. I don't have any plugins, so I'm gonna click Start. And if it's a success, it's going to go back to this page. And there we go. We see my chiropractic services website is now installed correctly. If I want to add another WordPress website, I can click the add button again, walk through the steps. Or if I'm an agency and want to connect other clients' websites, I can do that as well. Next, in order for the auto blogger to work, you have to pay for a subscription. So go to subscription. Your account name here will be used as your author name for all the article generations. So make sure it's something that you want and then click subscribe to the auto blogger. It's going to take you to a secured Stripe page. And I try to make this subscription as cheap as possible. There are some costs that are associated with hosting the auto blogger app, which is why I'm not trying to gouge you guys. And I put it at $9 per month. $9 per month gives you unlimited websites that you can connect to the autoblogger. You can run it for as long as you want, as many keywords as you want. All you're paying for is the $9 subscription and your OpenAI API costs. So it's super cheap. I already have my card set up, so I'm going to click subscribe. And there we go. It says your credit card information was successfully entered and you've been subscribed to a plan. I'm going to click OK. Now if I go back to the subscription tab, this button now says go to portal and you can use that button to modify your subscription, cancel it or view past invoices. Now click the icon in the top left corner to bring you to the auto blogger page. Now we can select the website we just added from the drop down box above. If you've added multiple websites, they will all show up here. This is the chiropractic services one. And then we have a few options. We can choose our text model. We have GPT-4 Turbo and GPT-3.5 Turbo. I'm gonna use GPT-4 Turbo. We can select our image model. We have Dolly 2, Dolly 3, Stable Diffusion 3, and no image. I'm gonna use Stable Diffusion 3 because we set up that API key. Then we can choose a language. If the language you wanna generate articles for is not in this input box, please write me a comment below this video and tell me what language you want added. I can do that immediately, but I'm going to stick with English. Next, we need to choose our post interval. This is in hours. The number here means how often it will generate articles. So if I have an interval of one, that means it's going to generate a new article every hour. If I put six here, that means it's going to generate a new article every six hours. If I put 48, that means it's going to make a new article every two days. A brand new feature for the article is random interval length. If I toggle this button, this input box will go gray. That means it's not using this anymore and instead it's using a random interval. The random number generator is anywhere between one and 24 hours. So every keyword that you input in this box and every article that's created, it's gonna generate one every random hour. 
for example, for the first article, it might take three hours. Then the second article might take six hours. Then the third article might take 19 hours. It's going to do this for every keyword in that input box until it's run out of keywords. Use this if you want your posting to seem more organic and maybe not get flagged by Google. A few people have suggested this, so I've added it to the app. Now we need to enter our keyword list. If you've already done your keyword research, you can copy that list and paste it in here. As long as you've separated every keyword by a comma, it will create multiple tags for each of those keywords. You can input them manually. And soon I'm gonna have a feature where you can randomly generate keywords related to your website. But for now, I'm gonna enter them in manually. Let's do back pain relief, hit enter. You'll see it has created a gray tag. Next, I'll do lower back pain, hit enter. Let's do neck pain, hit enter. Let's go back treatment, maybe knee treatment, and then herniated, I spell that right, disc treatment. Okay, we got a good six keywords to write articles for. Now we have the option to provide a link URL and a link text. So a link URL is what you think it is. You can use it for internal linking, affiliate links, or outbound links. For this example, let's say I had a page on my website. So bookgen.xyz will go forward slash book appointment. We want these pages to internally link to the book appointment page. I can put that URL down here. Make sure you add HTTPS colon forward slash forward slash. And for the link text, I'm going to write book and appointment today. So this text at the end of the article is going to be hyperlinked to this page on my website. You can leave this blank if you want to. This is an optional feature, but I'm going to add it in for this example. It looks like I'm all ready with my settings and I'm going to click generate posts. If everything went through okay, it's going to say your articles are being written by the AI. Please check back later to see the results. I'm going to click the OK button. It's going to clear all of the inputs from the Autoblogger page so you can start again. But if I go to my workflows page, I can see all the details of that currently running workflow. There is the workflow ID. This is more for me than it is for you. So I can help troubleshoot if there are any problems. Shows the number of keywords that you have inputted. Here it says six keywords, and if I click on it, I can see all the keywords. It shows the post interval length, I chose random. It tells me what the next keyword it's gonna write an article for. And here it tells me that the next one on deck is lower back pain. This is when it was started. And if I want to cancel this workflow, let's say I wanna start again, I didn't wanna write for those keywords anymore, or it was costing too much, whatever the use case, you can click the cancel button here and it will stop it immediately. Over on my WordPress website, here is the first article that was generated using the Autoblogger. Five simple strategies for back pain relief. This is the image generated by Stable Diffusion 3. It's a woman, looks like she's doing yoga on a mat in her living room. And this is the article that was generated by AI. Amazing. And it's been SEO optimized towards the keyword back pain relief. You can even see in the slug that it says back pain relief. It's been a few hours now and back in the workflows page, you can see the status now says completed. The next keyword is not applicable because there are no keywords left. And if I want, I can start a brand new workflow with many more keywords. I can add another site and hopefully these articles have been indexed or will be indexed in the future, which means more organic traffic to your website. If you have any feature suggestions for the autoblogger, please write them in the comments below. I've been collecting a nice list of all of your comments. I'm gonna be building them out shortly. A link to use it yourself is gonna be in the description below. I also have an online course that teaches you how to make an AI app exactly like this, how to find customers, how to charge them, how to turn your own custom GPTs into a business. I've put that link in the description below as well. And if you like this video, I got two more on the screen right now. I chose these videos specifically for you. So do me a favor, click one of them, give it a watch, and I'll see you in there. Later.